Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here on the Poxy Staples channel. And as of today, September 8th, 2019, another knockout series is upon us. Now, I used to do these videos on this channel, sort of previewing poker series coming up, giving you a little uh, details on the schedule, what I'm going to be playing, what my plan is for the series, some of my goals for the series. Um, so I thought I'd bring those back because I think they're useful. And then I always find myself wanting to look back like, oh, what was knockout series like? And then being able to go back and actually see the schedule and find it is useful. So here we go. Knockout series intro. What am I going to be playing in this series? What's the plan? Now, I'm going to take a look. I'm just on the Knockout Series webpage. I will link this, you guys, for the KO series down below this video. Um, so in the full schedule section here, you can actually filter um, the buy-ins. Like you can see the whole schedule on the webpage, which is really cool. You don't have to have the client. So this is a, uh, a tiered series, right? So there's micro buy-ins, $2 buy-ins, all the way up to the high buy-ins. The first event is a $215, as you'll see. Um, but there's a 5K event here. Um, we're going to look through everything and just see uh, how it looks. But for now, I'm going to kick off and start looking at the high range of things. Okay, so I'm going to go super high roller and high. These are obviously the really exciting events for me to play with huge amounts of money up top. Um, you know, they're events to shoot for, for some of you that are just getting into poker, like these are the sort of events you want to get into, take your shots in. Uh, so I think like the main thing we should feature in this video. So as you can see on the opening Sunday here at the 8th today when this video is coming out, uh, we have a $215 buy-in 8 max, pretty much everything's 8 max, uh, a 5k 8 max. Now I'm hoping to get into some of the 5ks, I believe there's three, three or five during this series. Um, I'm hoping to get in, but I'm going to have to play some satellites. I'm not, I'm not going to buy in directly. Um, okay, so we have the 5K, we have the 1K, 215, 300K guaranteed, 2100 in the afternoon. Uh, and it's interesting, actually, if we filter by buy-in, the amount of 2100s is actually pretty low for the series. So let's just go like this. Here's all the 2100s plus. This is what we're looking at for KO series, right? So we have a 5K on the opening day. We have a 5K the following Sunday. And then we have a 5K PLO and then the 5K main event. And that's it, right? Or the 5K A max on the final day, not the main event. Uh, we'll get to the main event. So yeah, four 5Ks. One of them is Omaha. So there's three No Limit Hold'em versions. Uh, will they be playing? We'll see. We're going to play some satellites. And in terms of 2100s, uh, we have one on the opening Sunday here. And then I think it's Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, Sunday, uh, Sunday. Okay, three on Sunday. That's pretty intense. The 15th. That's a lot. Oh, no, that's a 5K. There we go. And then Tuesday, and then two on Thursday, and then two on Sunday. Okay, so really, if you're looking for high stakes actions, you know, 2K plus buy-ins, which there's got to be at least one of you out there, right? Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays are your day. That's that's where the big stuff is. And if you're wanting to watch, those are the good days to tune in uh, because there's going to be really high stakes action. But let's get back to just sort of the main schedule. Like, this is the opening Sunday, right? If we're just talking... $82 plus buy-ins, we have all of these coming up on Sunday. And I'll be playing everything except for the 5K and try and satellite into the 2K. But in terms of actual variety in the schedule, which I really love, so we have an 8 max knockout, we have the 8 max knockout as the second event as well, uh, and then we have another 8 max knockout, okay, but in the afternoon, we have a PLO 6 max, which is really cool. Pot Limit Omaha knockout will be insane. Like percentages in Omaha run very close together. So the fact that it's a knockout Omaha, it's going to be wild. Uh, definitely a really fun event. I guarantee it. Uh, and then an 8 max fast to close. So kind of, uh, oh no, actually one more after that. Uh, we have 8 to 6 mix max, um, which is really cool. So how mix max works you register the tournament and you start with eight because it's eight to six. And then you play till after registration is closed and a few more levels and then it switches to six max. So deep in the tournament, you end up playing shorter handed. Like you play more hands in the important stages of the tournament. In the early stages, you play full ring and you get to relax a little bit. So I really love mix max. I think that's a great format. And that's just the opening Sunday. So one, two, three, four, five, six events. And I just have it filtered for high here. Like if we, if we add in all the things, you can see how many tournaments... Uh, we have to choose from here just on the Sunday like wow there you go that is uh, that's gonna be big PKO battle fast did I get that in there as well oh no this is the next day okay right I, I was skipping ahead that's Monday let's take a look at Monday though so we have a high roller 8 max uh, to start 530 109 33 we have a 6 max version which I think is good variety as well just throwing in a 6 max a PLO 6 max and then a PKO battle fast 
PKO Battle Fast as well are a really cool format, I think. You start with 15,000 chips as opposed to 50,000, um, and you start with 30 big blinds. So you get thrown right in the action, right? You don't start very deep, but those first three levels are very long. And what that means is you get into the important stages of the tournament where you can knock people out and you can play for bounties right away, hand one. But you stay there for a long time so that you have enough time to build up a stack and grow. So I think it's a really cool format. I like that. Um, that's a general overview of the series. I mean, obviously, there's 15 days here, so I'm not going to go through all 15 days. But let's take a look sort of buy-in by buy-in. So first of all, I'm going to check this out for those of you that play on the smaller side of things. We have uh, $2 buy-ins, $4 buy-ins. Like, these are the micro buy-ins of the series, right? And there's lots of options here. So if you're newer to the game, you have lots of choices. Uh, and then I'll add in low here as well. Low isn't working for some reason. But medium is. Something's broken there. Uh, but I do have the lobby open here, so I can take a look. I mean, it's going to be a little bit less um, awesome because it's not as big for you guys. But let's go, like, low buy-ins here, KO series. Lots of 11s and 550s, like tons. This whole thing. All of these tournaments are 11 and 550s. So it should be accessible for pretty much everyone's bankroll. And then, of course, the highs, right? Look at all these 215s. Let me add a filter here. Let's see if we can find out how many 530s there are. I mean, 215s, there's just going to be so many because pretty much every event is going to have a 215. But then here is the 530s. Oh, wowzers. That's a lot of 530s. I'm going to be playing most of these. Like, I don't really feel comfortable enough yet to play in the Omaha 530s, but the No Limit Hold'em versions, like, good time to take shots is in series. So here we go, man. 6 max, 8 max, uh, PLO 6 max, mix max, 6 to 4. So this starts 6 handed, and then after it switches, it goes to 4 handed, which is very cool. Turbo, uh, six max fast, be low, bounty battle, all sorts of stuff. And it's worth remembering, I mean, this is obviously called knockout series, so these are all knockout events. So lots of 530s, I'll be playing the mass majority. Now here's where it gets interesting, where we get up to the one case. What of these am I gonna be playing, right? <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot. Um, and it does get expensive, you know? Like this, this level of buy-in for me in the knockout series, this is where I'm taking my shot. I feel like I can hold my own in the 530s, like, I'm doing okay. I'm not the best player in the field, but I'm not the worst. The 1Ks is where I feel like I really am testing myself right now, and I definitely get crushed by some opponents, and then I do okay against some. So, like, this is my level to battle um, right now, and there's a lot. It gets expensive, man. Uh, opening Sunday, we have two 1Ks here. We have one on Monday. We have two on Tuesday, although this one's in Omaha, so I'd skip. One on Wednesday. Uh, two on Thursday. I'm going to skip the Omaha. Uh, two on Friday. Interesting. Two on Saturday. And then the next Sunday where we have th two. Yeah. So it seems like pretty much every day there's at least one 1K event. I will definitely be playing uh, at least half of these. We'll see. I'll probably put up some action on State Kings. Lower the buy-in for myself a little bit. Um, but yeah, these are going to be my stomping grounds. And obviously some big guarantees. And then up from there, we already looked at the, uh, the 5K and the 2Ks. So... There you go. Anyways, so that's kind of this, the KO series schedule. Obviously, starting today, let's take a look at the main events before we go. Also on this webpage, you are going to be able to look at satellites. Now, I'm actually recording this two days before the series starts, so you're not going to be able to see a ton of satellites right now in the listing, but you'll be able to see, like, you can filter by target event here. So let's say you want to get into the 5K. Nothing will show up now for me because it's, it's before the series starts, but... Uh, you will be able to filter and be like, okay, here's my ways into the 5k, right? Or I want to get into a 500 plus buy-in and like here. So here's two satellites already running for a 1k ticket for KO series. So this is going to be really cool. Main events. This is what it's all about. This is the final version. There's a no limit Hold'em KO series main event and a pot limit Omaha KO series main event. So really good five tiers of both. Uh, and I will be playing this 2100 for sure. The main events like how can I miss it? If you guys missed my Power Fest main event, I almost final tabled the thing. It was a $2,100 buy-in as well, I think. Uh, it was awesome. So check that out. It's on this channel uh, a couple videos ago. But I'll definitely be playing the 2100 8 max, as well as the 320 55 11 and yes, the $2.20 version as well. Uh, so that's what's coming up for the No Limit Hold'em main events. And then PLO main events, there's a 2100 a 320 a 55 and an 11 Why no $2.20? Why, why don't we have a 220 on the PLO main events? It, it must be missing. I hope it's in there, man. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to look in the schedule here. One second. We don't. 
I don't know what the story is, guys. I don't know why you don't have a $2.20. If you're a micro stakes player, I'm sorry you don't have a micro uh, PLO main event, but you still have lots of options. So 1155, 320. I'll play the 320 and under for PLO. Not going to play the 2100. I would just be gifting money in, in this event. So anyways, that's the KO series event. If I had to estimate, I would say like probably 40 to 50K in buy-ins for me over the course of this series, which is going to be huge, obviously. Hoping we come out on the plus side, but the good news for you guys, whether you are in a country that can play online at Party Poker or not, we should have a lot of great videos coming out on this channel because uh, no matter what, we're going to have some close calls, right? Uh, it's just impossible not to with this much poker. So for me, goals for the series, uh, it is a 15-day long series. I think probably around two days off during the series is a good idea. I don't know what particular the days of those are going to be. I'll just play it by ear. Uh, they're not going to be Sundays. <laughs> they're not going to be Fridays because those are my home game days. Um, so probably take a couple days off during the series just so that I can get some good rest. But we'll be playing 13 of the 15 days is, is the plan. And uh, trying to come out on top. Try and come out with a, a trophy. You know, Try and win one of these events. So uh, we got to fill up this bookcase. It's kind of empty back there, some of the slots. So let's see if we can get it done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. What do you want to say about the KO series? Any feedback on the schedule? What are your plans for the KO series? Are you going to be playing any? Um, let me know down in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.